Still Parsons, he's done well. Challenge comes in from power, no free kicks, says referee. Paul Norton, now it's J.R. Wilson, easily dispossessed by Ryan Burke. This is brilliant from Ryan Burke. McGinty gets a touch to it, and here's Patterson. Oh, didn't quite expect that, I don't think, Patterson. Yeah, big, big chance there already for Waterford, only two minutes into the game. It was a good run forward from Ryan Burke. He got it across the box, and Patterson just couldn't direct a shot on goal. He was probably outnumbered. It. But again, Wilson were very, really doing well, leading the line, getting down into that channel and working the free kick, and it's a good opportunity now for Simon Power. Yeah, Simon Power gives the signal. It's a good effort. Ooh, and it's nodded wide by Chapman, I think. Big chance there for Sligo Rovers. Um, wasn't sure it was a Conor Malley or Ellis Chapman, but um, either way, it was a big chance. A good ball in from Simon Power, but just couldn't get the direction on it, and that's a big chance already for Rovers. Um, you know. Hutchinson to Ellis Chapman, the duo who played together at Cheltenham. Oweru heads that on for Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald for Chapman. Oh, and Chapman fires that wide. He's dangerous, Colin, Ellis Chapman. Yeah, no, he's been excellent this season for Sligo Rovers. He gets into great positions. As you can see there, he runs into the box. You know, we, we, we first saw him in a preseason friendly here against Derry City where he scored a hat trick. I think it now took Hutchinson. everybody's surprise. Um, Tries to get around Parsons. Nice touch from Power, Simon Power that is. Fitzgerald flicks it back for Power, Power shoots! Good effort from Simon Power. And Sligo Rovers just turning it up a notch. I see Barry Bagley just urging his players on here as they weather a bit of a storm from the home side against Galway which saw him out for a couple of months and he's had a setback or two since that um, you know, I think you're a better team with Simon Power in it um, and you know, definitely hopefully for his sake and for Sly Grovers that he can stay in good ball in from fit. Burke headed wide yeah good chance there for Gammond he peeled off McElroy really really well that's what he does he um, peeled off to the back post and Burke found him it was a good cross from the left here and um, and he just couldn't steer his header, get the power he needed into it to, to trouble McGinty. But it's Will Fitzgerald. It is headed on. It comes out of Wilson. Waweru puts it in. Sligo Rovers go ahead at the showgrounds. Waweru getting on the end of that ball. Close range, putting it in. Colin, another goal for Wilson Mawero, his sixth league goal of the season, a hat-trick in the cup. Yeah, I'm delighted for Wilson, a really good finish, striker's instinct, he was in around the six-yard box, waiting for something to drop, there's a good ball in from Will Fitzgerald, as he's done time and time again this season, his deliveries are good, Conor Malley got across the front man, or got across the front post, sorry, got a good header on it, there was claims for a penalty in there, but it doesn't matter... Wilson Oveiru smashed the ball home and I'm delighted for him. You know, as I said earlier on, he had people question him earlier on in the season. He stuck to his guns and he's certainly been one of the best players in, in the league in the last couple of months. He got player in the month back in July. Clubs, there's many of them. Almost signed for Sligo Rovers again a few years ago. Oh, Ellis Chapman has done well to get away from power. It's Chapman saved by Lewis Jones, who's done really well. Power with the header and it's headed off the line. Power again, it's Waweru, and it's cleared in the end by Ryan Burke. Waterford breathe a sigh of relief. Yeah, massive chance. He just got a nick on it, got it in behind the back four. He would have fancied Alice Chapman one on one with the goalkeeper, but as I said again, Louis Jones in the goals. He's done well tonight, and he saved Waterford there from going in two down at the break, and it's the 36 year old there. Now. J.R. Wilson sends that long to Simon Power. Ryan Burke keeping a close eye. Power gets the cross away. Well, where who gets ahead to it? That's a good save from Jones. Really good save from Jones. Chapman now on the ball for the host. Picks out a nice pass to Niall Morahan. It's Simon Power on that right-hand side. He cuts in. He shoots. And again, well held by Lewis Jones. 
Yeah, good hands again from the, the goalkeeper. Is it a good night? Made some good saves. Cleaned up uh, any crosses pretty well. Most of their goals have come from open play. Some really good play. Just couldn't score there again. Denham misses that, but J.R. Wilson gets to it. Gives it straight back to a blue shirt now. It's Patterson. Patterson with the effort. Ooh! This hits the side netting. He wants a corner, Patterson. He's not too happy. Yeah, it was one of those. If you're over the far side of the showgrounds, he really thought that nestled into the top corner. It was a very close one. Good effort from Patterson yeah. in the League of Ireland. It shows the interest in the League of Ireland now from across the water, especially that League One, kind of League Two level. Um, a lot of teams over there look to sign players from this country. Fitzgerald now on the edge of the box, gets a good ball in, and it's headed in! Sligo Rovers, 2-0 ahead. Simon Power with that header for the Bitter Reds. He doubled their advantage against Waterford. That ball in from Will Fitzgerald, Colin, absolutely brilliant, and that header from Simon Power outstanding. Yeah, I have to say, Will Fitzgerald, you know, he's probably an unsung hero of this Sligo Rovers squad over the last couple of years. Time and time again, he comes up with something. You know, if it's not an assist or a goal, it's just his tireless work and he's dug across out there. That's something that he's really, really improved on over the last number of months. This season, you know, he had an assist for Ellis Chapman up at Inchicore against St. Patrick's Athletic around a month ago and he's dug across out there, a beautiful cross. You couldn't get better. And Simon Power in a great position at the back post. The two wingers combining and he heads it into the net. A great goal. Fitzgerald comes in to collect that loose ball. And Ford is chasing him. That's a good ball from Fitzgerald. It's Ellis Chapman. Here he goes around Lewis Jones. Oh, and it's cleared by Kasper Radkowski. Should be 3-0. Ellis Chapman, the angle just too difficult in the end. Yeah, I could see that coming. Pierce was free at the back post and Chapman probably didn't have enough time to get his head up. He probably didn't see Radkowski covering over. If he squared it, it's a tap-in. He's unlucky, though. He gets a shot on target. McGinty, Burke heads that out of play. Yeah, an important Sliger three in no rush. Sorry, Colin. No, sorry yourself. <laughs> um, an important three points here. I think it's safe to say the game is wrapped up now as he tick into the last few seconds. Um, a really big win for Sliger Rovers to move up to third now tonight, which is massive as we... And there we go, the referee, Paul Norton, blows up for full-time. Sligo Rovers 2, Waterford nil. Wilson Waweru putting the home side ahead in the first half and Simon Power adding a second in the second half. Colin, that's a huge win for Sligo Rovers. Yeah, massive. You know, um, they suffered a big setback over the last couple of weeks. Not only the draw the United result in the league, but that cup exit against UCD was really disappointing not just for the team, but for the whole town, really. You know, we love a good cup run here in Sligo. But look, they've picked themselves up this week. It would have been a tough week for Sligo Rovers, um, players and staff, supporters, volunteers, everybody. Yeah, well, there we go. After a beautiful night here in Sligo, it is a great night, should we say, for Sligo Rovers, the home side who have made amends for last weekend's 7-0 humiliation at the hands of Drogheda United and won 2-0 here against Waterford to move them into third place. My thanks to Colin Feely, former CEO of Sligo Rovers, for his company here this evening. And my thanks to the viewers for joining us all evening. Enjoy the rest of your night. From us at the showgrounds, that's all we have at full time. It is Sligo Rovers 2, Waterford nil.